you guessed Coney Island, New York, you guessed right. Just getting to the roller coaster is a ride. And just getting through Brooklyn <laughs> and coming back. And you know what that means. Our number one killer coaster is that Coney Island institution, the Cyclone. It opened in 1927, and it's still one of the oldest roller coasters in the entire world. You know what's neat, in my opinion, is to share thrills that your grandparents had. You know? Like, there's not a lot of things me and my grandmother can do together these days. Drink Chardonnay, that's about it. But to know that we both rode the Cyclone, it's kind of a neat, you know? And back when she rode it, she, that thing might have collapsed. Just goes to show that good, raw design is key. Because it's in an urban area, it had to be built in a pretty small space. So what that means is there's extra twists and turns, and that design has actually gone on to influence the way the future roller coasters that have more room have been designed. In fact, the Cyclone's layout was so groundbreaking that all twister coasters today are known as Cyclone coasters in its honor. Cyclone, greatest roller coaster of all time. Now that is a hometown thing for me. The Cyclone kind of mirrors what it's like being in Coney Island. No one's wearing cute little outfits that match. No, these are like surly Brooklyn guys. They're gruff, they're rude. They don't really care. They just want you to get on the thing and get off. And they can only make it better if they had a guy like a longshoreman come out underneath it and be like, I don't know, let's just see if it works. The 24 passenger trains haven't changed in decades. There are no headrests and just a lap bar between you and certain doom. The lap bars that they put you down in in the uh, Cyclone do not feel like they do anything at all. I mean, seriously, you're holding on to this thing, but you think I could just slip out at any second. Once you're in, prepare for whiplash. You get on and you start going up and you're not even looking around at the views, uh, which, you know, has some nice views of the water right over there because you are just too terrified. In fact, that stomach-churning fear turned into a medical miracle. So a coal miner named Emilio Franco, who hadn't spoken in six years, took a ride on the cyclone. Right away, the thing started going. He said, I feel sick. Riders plunked down a nearly 60-degree drop, followed by a 180-degree turn at the bottom, whacking seatmates together. The Cyclone totally gives you whiplash. In fact, I'm surprised that they don't get sued all the time by people who uh, go on this thing. It is rough. Then the trains speed up the second hill. 12 drops and six 180-degree turns later, this ride slams to a stop, disgorging bruised and battered riders, some sporting a shiner, others with neck cricks. Dudes come out with black eyes. Like, just, oh, how was it? Oh, I'm bleeding, it's good. You kind of feel like you got mugged or some way were violated. But you know that roughness does have its advantages. It actually turned out to be a pretty good experience bringing your girl there um, because she's just so scared that, you know, it's like an instant bonding experience. Despite its ups and downs, the Cyclone still packs a potent punch. It truly is, as someone who's ridden so many roller coasters around the country, it really is one of the stud roller coasters. I mean, when you're leaving there, you're carrying your balls around in a wheelbarrow. I mean, you feel you're manly. It's the toughest, meanest, most terrifying coaster on our countdown. And that's why it came in at number one.